Crystal, we used to chat three times a week, each and every week on the Global News Anchor Desk. This is the first chat we've had since you left for London. So on a scale of nine to 10, how much do you miss our witty banter? Oh, like 22. I, I figured, but it's, uh, I wanted to have this conversation with you because I miss kind of the chemistry that we had and I miss the witty repartee that we did have. And I figured this would be a great resource since you are in London. How does this story compare to other stories that you've covered in your career? I have covered other, other pandemics before. I was um, previously a health reporter when I was with Global National before. So I covered H1N1, but this is so incredibly different. Um, the other one was, was fast and, and, you know, a lot of stuff happened, but it seemed to slow down quickly. This has been surreal from watching it from China and it kind of rolling right around the world and hitting where I am and the lockdowns and, and, you know, being in line for food and spacing out everywhere you go. It's, it's been just unreal. What has that messaging been like from the government in terms of getting people to follow the physical distancing protocols? It's actually interesting to watch all of the, the, the campaigns because it seems like there's like six different campaigns rolling out at once. There's some that are kind of cute and lighthearted. Some are really stark and, and very, very to the point that, you know, if you go out, someone you know may die eventually. Are people following the physical distancing rules from what you can see in your day-to-day -day life? For the most part, yes, but then there's also, you know, you walk down the street, you know, for example, walk down the street to go get groceries, um, you know, in the afternoon, and there are a ton of people out, and you know that these are not just, it's not just one household, that it's clearly a group of people who got together because it's super sunny out. After Boris Johnson tested positive and then was admitted to the hospital, was that a tipping point at all in terms of people's behavior? It wasn't, it wasn't. I think it was that momentary shock where everyone sort of sat up and took notice. At one point, you know, I was also reporting from outside the hospital. Um, but then I think people, a normal life kind of took over and it got really warm outside and people wanted to go outside and see their friends and family. And so there's that mix, but there's a huge number of people who get it and who are paying attention. And, and you know, the, the majority um, are, are just hyper aware. I think that's the part that I'm worried about for us in Canada, and I'm sure you probably share the same concerns. The weather hasn't been great here over the past week, so it's easier to stay inside. But as we move further into April, we get into May, the sun comes out, temperatures are 20 degrees. People are going to want to be outside and get kind of tired of these uh, distancing guidelines that we're following. So do you think that is going to be a lot more difficult for people to stay inside and really steal themselves for this fight that we find ourselves in? Yeah, I think based on everything we've seen in other countries, that is a challenge. Let's kind of walk through this a little bit. It'll take about a week for you to develop symptoms. It'll take, you know, if we use Boris Johnson, for example, he was sick for about 11 days before it progressed to the fact that he needed to go to hospital. Then it takes, you know, some more time. He's still in recovery. So even if what you do today, you won't see the, the, the impact of it for at least two to three weeks, right? So that is also a challenge because people are saying, well, I've been, in, I've been inside it for three weeks already, or I've been inside for four weeks already, you know, is it working, are we done? And the answer is just from at least what we're being told so far, no, our, our lockdown was just extended. What I think helps me is kind of not thinking that far ahead, just kind of taking it one day at a time. Because if you start to think like, oh, it might be months, I might not be able to watch or play sports until 2021, you can kind of get overwhelmed thinking about that. So I take it kind of day to day. And uh, Crystal, thank you. Hopefully uh, we can do this maybe once a month and hopefully we have maybe some better news in our mid-May chat. That would be great. I, I miss talking to you and congratulations on the new gig. Thank you. We'll talk soon.